Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the second video we've got for you on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. But first, an important word from our sponsors. Hey Alex, what are you working on? Well, I got this new model. Uh, the billionaire space race is kind of fascinating, so I wanted to get a new model rocket and make a big diorama for it. That's supposed to be a big rocket? Yeah, it's huge. It's 1 to 66 scale. I mean, look, that's uh, impressive, right? Yeah, but you can barely see that. What is this? What are you doing? This is the, the you know, what's taken off. It's all the smoke. Uh, well, I think you need to tone that down. You can barely see anything. Hmm. Whoa. See, I told you it was huge. That thing is huge. Yeah. See, it looks way better now. Yeah, I think this is the perfect amount. Just a little bit around, just a little around the base, but now you can see its full glory. Yeah, but why does it look like a dick? Guys, don't let unwanted body hair get in the way of your good stuff. Go to manscaped.com forward slash angry Joe show for 20% off and free shipping. It's a new year. It's time for a new look. Get manscaped today. Guys, don't delay your launch, all right? Make sure you're ready for action. Mm -hmm. You need to clear that little brush off. Yeah. That's a nice crotch rocket. I Thank mean, you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I was... you, you bought it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it fit perfectly. You're like, I need this rocket. No, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it like that. See, because... Mm -hmm. uh, well, 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 if you're brave enough, anything fits. <laughs> yeah. Quote Alex. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, this is bad. Exactly all right, we're, we're off top. Back <laughs> on topic, guys. Click the links down below uh, for our sponsor, Manscaped, who we love doing the fun <laughs> yes. parodies, and hopefully you guys love our parodies of them. If you do, click the links down below. Show some engagement. Mm -hmm. uh, let's move on to AJS News. As in video one, I said we're currently working on Seafood, Dying Light 2. We're also doing Warhammer Total War 3. Uh, I'm working on Crossfire. I'm going to rope the guys into that one. There's just so much we're but working on. Said it was bad, but it yeah, that's why. And then it takes it's gonna take us a little while, so hopefully, uh, some of those will start coming out towards the end of the week. If you want that stuff sooner, you can actually subscribe and support our partner channel, Control Alt Delrith. You remember him, he was a co host on our show for a long time and spun off into his own show on twitch.tv. Well, now they're launching a YouTube channel. When I say they are, it's Dell and Godfoot together, uh, who have been a long time part of our community and a co host. So we really want you guys to go and subscribe to their channel because right now I believe they will have a Warhammer Total War 3 review up on their channel. So go subscribe to them and support them. All right, guys. Well, let's get to the gaming news part two. Uh, all right. We're going to start with some worrisome news, maybe even some bad news. So security exploit, what we talked about with Dark Souls already, um, our, the, the PC servers are going to be offline until even after Elden Ring launches. Mm -hmm. And so... We in in we discovered a couple of weeks ago they released that a, a security exploit in Dark Souls Three could potentially allow hackers to gain low level access to players' computers. The PC servers for all Dark Souls games were suspended by Bandai Namco until further mm -hmm. notice, and they're not going back up. And they have you know Elden Ring's going to come out, mm -hmm. and they haven't said that if it's going to delay oh, the launch no. or do anything like I that. I have a feeling it. No, won't. no, no. That shit is gold, and it's coming. But just think, yeah, yeah. it is. But just think of the blowback that, that would get, later. though. Yeah, I think it would. Yeah. Mm, the blowback would probably ain't gonna be no blowback for Elden Ring. There's already fanatical fans that I didn't even fucking play the game. So yeah. Well, I lost a lot of my security, but it's worth it. But Elden it's Ring. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> now, uh, as the article reiterates, there have been no reports of this exploit being used in the wild. Someone found it, let them know, but it's still present and they haven't fixed it yet. Um, so hopefully they, uh, they, they get everything taken care of uh, before the launch of Elden Ring at the end of this month, the 25th of February. Yeah, they got yeah, a little days. bit of time. 11 they're gonna days. Be, they're going to cut it close, but <laughs> hopefully we'll see that. Mm hmm. In worrisome and potentially exciting news, the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit gaming rights are currently up for sale. How Say much? what? I thought, wait a minute. How much? Hold on. The Tol Tolkien estate sold their bidding at $200 million for the rights to 
uh, the that that shit. And uh, Jeff Bezos paid two hundred fifty million for it, and that's why we have the Rings of Power show, which we have a trailer reaction up on the channel. Go check that out shortly <laughs> up on the channel. Well, I'm so that bidding. didn't include the video game rights. So according to Variety, now he's gonna buy a different right. The the, the company that owns it is about to sell Tolkien Holdings that ha it has owned since nineteen seventy six, meaning that the rights pertaining to the properties are about to be up for grabs. The auction is also set to include the rights to merchandising, movies, and live events such as theme parks in addition to games. Now, and and this one I is specifically Hobbit. And, and Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Okay, so it's not the second age, which is what Amazon is focusing on. Mm. But I still think Amazon is a good candidate to buy it, right? Aren't they? They're trying to do their video game division, that, and they've got a new series in the second edition. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. maybe they'll be the worst candidate because they're like, no, we already spent a lot of money for the second, second age. We're going to do video games based on the second age, and EA can have the, you know, Third age. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's three companies that already own some, that have some rights. So Warner has some rights due to its ownerships of New Line Cinema, which produced the Lord of the Rings film trilogy. Uh, and they also have like the Middle Earth Shadow series. Mm -hmm. uh, Daedalic Entertainment also has access, uh, they have access to the IP um, for the Gollum game releasing sometime soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then Amazon slated to release an MMO based on Lord of the Rings universe, but the project was scrapped in April last year. Um, so, like, there, there's okay. some people so that have had was. some. I thought it would be a good MMO from Amazon candidate, but apparently not. They fucked it up. Well, yeah. Amazon had a real rough patch yeah. of like video game development. Well, they have so. that new, well, new, that world? new world. New World. Well, maybe they'll it's learn from New World. Ish. Yeah, they just need more content. I mean, everyone liked New World when it launched. It just didn't have anything else. You, did, you just ran out of stuff to do. Yeah. yeah. I would love to see a fantasy, uh, you know, uh, MMO where I'm more interested in the lore than I am with New World. So if Amazon takes everything that they learned from New World and it's like the New World sequel and it's like the Second Age or it's like, you know, Lord of the Rings, I I'm in. I would like a remastered of a Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. That would be pretty nice. The the video game? The video game. The strategy game? No, it's like a, an action. Huh. I, I don't think one? I played that one. No. Tell me What's about it. It was on PlayStation. That's the one I was playing on. It's a lot of fun. You play like these different battles and stuff like that as a uh, Gimli. Third Gimli. person. Third person. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm remembering. Yeah, there yeah, was a was few some... Lord of the Rings games that were pretty good. There was a strategy game that was good. There was a third person <coughs> one that was good. I love the Shadow series. It was like a multiplayer one where it was focused on the battles and stuff with different abilities. It's well, what about the, all of the hobbits in Fortnite shooting guns? I don't give a fuck about the hobbits, man. I'm not. You don't. A, I'm you don't care. Like the you hobbits. remember that no. one? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a fun yeah. one. Well, someone's gonna buy them, and then we will have to see. I'm out of the running. You said millions. I'm out. Yeah, it, gonna it's gonna go for a lot of money. Maybe five thousand. Yeah. I can sell my right, kidney. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Maybe my, my hey, you got two. You can sell both of them. I think I need one. <laughs> nah. Joe, if you can get the Lord of the Rings right for five thousand, we'll all spot you. We'll all come in together. <laughs> yeah. Let's buy it, all right, chat. For five thousand, right now. All of us, let's buy. It. We'll make an amazing game. We will. If, will still. you play golf? Never happening. I will. Okay. If we do buy, it, I'll play whoever you want me to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, we've got finally got resolution to a Capcom lawsuit. Uh, a stolen art lawsuit that we actually talked about last year. Mm. Um, a, in June 2021, um, Judy Jurasek claimed that the developer had used more than 80 photographs featured in her book called Surfaces to design locations in Resident Evil 4, Devil May Cry, yes, and other titles. And we are this. showing them right there. Mm -hmm. And this is not one of those things where, oh, it's similar. <coughs> they literally stole all the photos and they just put them, I mean, we're talking oh, about in the titles. Yep. They're in the, in like. What the fuck is going on at Capcom? You remember the Frankenstein? An army thing yeah. from yes. the thing? What the fuck? I have that on my Amazon list. I've yet to goddamn watch it. Watch I still it. need to watch it's ridiculous it. Ridiculous watch it. Um, but it, it's it's absolutely. Oh, you've seen it, Joe? Oh, yeah. Was was the helicopter boss ripped off? Uh, well, there's a lot. It, it's pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. close. So it looks like there's an art director over at Capcom that just bought a book and we're like, I'm going to steal this. And not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, a, it's not, I'm inspired by actually just straight up stolen. Damn. And so, again, you can look up there and see. But according to the courts, Capcom and Judy Jurasek have amicably resolved their dispute concerning the alleged use of money. the photographs because of like, here, good. money. Good. Take this. Yes, take good. This. She We're deserves good. money. Yeah, I, I, she'll take it. All good. Right. 
It's settled. <laughs> yeah, but they shouldn't be doing that shit in the first place. That's that's crazy. Hopefully, she got a lot of money out of it, oh, which will she... then will, will push Capcom away from doing that. Maybe fire the fucking guy. If she's yeah. settled, then yeah. Well, they were originally claiming they wanted $12 million, so I don't think they they typically don't get all that they ask for. But mm -hmm. I imagine if Capcom just says, make this go away. I'm sorry we Five stole, your, sh I, I'm two, sorry two we stole your shit. Just get, get the hell out of here. So. Um, Damn. Capcom didn't. Cap did that's not good, Capcom. You've been doing good lately, man. Cut, cut it out. One bad employee Fuck. can rule that, like, Stop yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because now everyone's be like, what else did they steal? Yeah. It's like, no, there's nothing else, just that. It's like, sure, I don't believe you. Yeah, and they start going through, like, your old stuff. It's like, someone look at my photo bucket account, and they're using pictures of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got news from the. Is this where I bring up the Resident Evil yeah. form? Okay. Yeah, there's a good place for it. Okay, well, Resident Evil 4 director Shinji Mikami hopes that the rumored remake will improve on the story. So, obviously, a horror legend. Obviously, many fans love the number four. Number four is one that I've only been able to experience now through Quest VR. So, I got to, 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 to get through it. But I kind of want to play it. In a remake version as well, like everybody else, and, and because we we seen they did a good job with Resident Evil Two, Resident Evil Three, you know, this it was get, short, but to give you short cool things, right. right, Alex? So, but I think Four <laughs> was always going to be better than Three if they remade it. So, he says. If rumors are true about the remake, which, come on. I mean, Capcom got to make some money. You have to think they're true. Of course. This is like literally the last one that they can remake, right? I shouldn't say that. No. They just spent a couple million on the table. They'll they remake recoup, all the side right? ones, The remake too. of Remake 1. <laughs> or the Zero or stuff like that. But anyways, um, it's not a question of whether I want to see it or not. I do. I just hope that they make the story better. So he he revealed at that time, a lot of people didn't know that, that he and his team had less than three weeks to make the story, to come up with the story. And so he, was, he admitted that he had a rush time no, yeah. frame to put some of the story elements in. And he's totally open. And to them changing a few things around here and there and, and making it even better. Uh, but, you know, uh, uh, what we saw with Capcom with the third remake, it sounds like they're, they, I don't know if they would put all that much time into uh, expanding the story and making it better since they were really pulling out sections in three. So hopefully they put sections in in four and making it an even better game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also got news f uh, from Uncharted film director Ruben Fleischer. Um, Wait, Uncharted, the, the Uncharted movie, that we're about the, the to watch the, this the week? The one that's getting uh, amazing reviews. It's getting fucking hammered it's by... It's getting eviscerated on the internet. Damn. Well, he wants to announce that he's in the process of adapting Jack and Daxter. Yeah, great time to announce yeah. Jack and Daxter? Yeah. Really? I'm trying to think of, like, who... You can't like, even get Uncharted right, and you think you're going to take on Jack and Daxter? Like, who can we cast? Like, The Rock and Danny DeVito? Jack Nicholson <laughs> and uh, Al Pacino. What the fuck are you talking Some about? Some heavyweights, like, who, who's come like on. Like, they big and small, and you're just like... <laughs> he can do the voice. I guess. Al Pacino. <laughs> um, okay, if we're going with completely inappropriate... Uh, like they did in Uncharted? Melissa McCarthy they, as Jack perfect. and... Uh, um, Actually, yours is probably closer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yours is probably closer. And who would voice the little? Uh, who would voice Dexter? Um, Chris or do Pratt. I, or I get him raw. Chris <laughs> Did Pratt. I get him raw? But yeah, not doing Chris a voice. Pratt. Chris, Chris Pratt is just yeah. Chris Pratt. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey I, guys, I'm Jack. No, Chris Pratt, you're De you're Dexter. I, I'm I'm Daxter. He <laughs> told Thanks. Digital Trends, I'm actually working on Jack and Daxter, a version of that for PlayStation. I think it would be really cool to bring to life. It doesn't mean that it's gonna come to fruition sony was like what the fuck are you doing shut the fuck up right now <laughs> probably uh so this is the project that sony's working on that i don't give two shits about um now ghost of tsushima is still tapped for a live action film this this is the yeah, one that, that i that for me that's the one i'm looking that forward well, Ratchet to and clank wasn't like that one was pretty good yeah but that that one doesn't have a show or, or a movie coming up but ghost of tsushima is making there's gonna be a film they're gonna be. They're gonna work on a live action film for Last of Us. Of course, is getting a TV show. Twisted Metal is getting a TV show. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see what mm. Sony can do. If Sony can't even like get Venom right, I don't have a whole lot of hope for like other. other yeah. Stuff, so. Every time I hear Sony, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Lower mm. expectations when I hear that. Yeah. I'm so excited to see. So so uh, mine mine would be. 
uh, Melissa McCarthy, and then Daxter would be who's the girl that played Cheetah? Oh, oh Christian no. Wig. Christian, Christian Wig. Wig. So that's that's what I'm thinking for that. Everybody else in the comments, put your inappropriate picks <laughs> for Jack and Daxter. Jack and Daxter's Nicholson, a little. Pacino. Daxter's the sidekick, and Jack Robert is the main. De Niro. Um, so yeah, put, put. <laughs> that's and jo it. Joe's that was that's a really Joe's. good Robert De Niro. And then <laughs> Alex is The Rock, and um, Danny DeVito. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know he could do Robert De Niro? He's good. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Yeah. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Now that's do good. now work that's on at least that's one you. line of nah, the man, you got you got the chin and the lips. You know that that works pretty well. <laughs> and the eyes being just straight up yeah. not there. Yeah. Um, well, we had a questions about the Halo TV series when they they showed the Paramount Plus the trailer. Truck. The the well one yes that doesn't make any goddamn sense. The Chevy Tahoe is there five hundred <laughs> years in the future. But what was also weird is the music, the the lack of the traditional Halo music oh, in the trailer. What was it? Who was playing there? Uh, uh, Phil Collins or something yeah. like that. It's like what? This is Halo, bro. Use the fucking iconic music. Well, I think we have a reason why. Uh, uh, Marty O'Donnell and Mike Salvatore, um, who are the original composers, have instructed their lawyers to explore injunction blocking show the show's release as part of the Microsoft series. Ooh. So there's an ongoing legal dispute between Microsoft and the original Halo composers, those, those two uh, gentlemen. Um, and it's because there was a miscommunication between them and, and Bungie, and they sued for it. Mm. And when Microsoft bought them, they're like, hey, you still have to pay us all this I money. You're not giving us all this stuff. I about that, yeah. And it has, still hasn't been resolved. Jesus Christ. And so now they're looking at other options, and one of yeah. them is... They're a, like, what the fuck is a new Halo series? And are you going to use my music? It's like, well, here's mm. the thing. I want them to use the music, Marty, and I want Halo to fucking... Talk to you, or I want Microsoft to resolve this shit so that we can get the amazing Halo music in the TV series. You can't have the TV series without the music, I man. I feel like it's lacking. I'm it's gonna lacking. be like, no, fucking zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't do that. But it, it 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 is gonna take some points away if they don't use the music. So according to them, they say that some of the most iconic music they created for the game has been licensed to Bungie before Microsoft acquired the studio in 2000. And while Microsoft had paid them royalties on their work, they claim it hasn't provided a required uh, accounting of sales to ensure that those royalties were accurate, saying, like, look, we, we see you talk about how much you've sold. We're not getting the money that you know is supposed to be coming from there. And uh, Microsoft is declining to comment to people who are asking them about it as of now. Um, if this story continues to go forward, I imagine some of Microsoft will say something, especially if it could uh, impact wow. the show's release. Well, that Microsoft believes that they were work for hire, making the company the author the, of the work. Yeah. Like, mm. <laughs> shit. Well, mm. I, I don't think that, that it'll delay the show, though. I hope not. I mean, it because, depends on how much of the, their music is in the show. Right. Yeah. My my idea is they done fucked it up and didn't use any of the music, knowing that there might be a legal problem. Just pay them another money, uh, sum of money, to make them feel respected, to make them feel you know they don't valued. But right now he says I feel disrespected, you know, and it's been going on s since his firing in 2014 over an internal disagreement about how. Uh, you, to use his music, so mm. just pay the guy, god damn it, so that we can use the music constantly because it's really good music. It is, it is, and he needs to be respected and, for that. And music can elevate something, especially if it's. Not and very he's good. elevated the fucking game. Look, the, the battle the, scene. I so constantly sweet. say how the music is a fucking amazing. Oh, absolutely. It's like the battlefield theme. I would put the Halo theme and the battle theme as like some yeah, of the best. Yeah, because it's a uh, it can make a break. Uh, like what is it, Battlefield twenty forty two? They broke it. It yeah. broke it. I was like, they, they please turn the, the music, music off. Terrible, what yeah. is this? Yeah. This is making me. <laughs> and it's not no. even like they're having a contract dispute play. with the guy that made the theme. No. And they're trying to <laughs> fuck it up on purpose. <laughs> That's it what sounds it sounds like. Dial like. Up. It's dial up music. <laughs> and that funny? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like EA is having a contract <laughs> dispute with their music like, guy. You need some music, man? You hurting or something? Well, I don't know what they're doing with that. You brought up the name, so that we're getting man. into the next story. The next story is Battlefield 2042. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of things to cover here. As of right now, uh, there we, we're approaching 200,000 uh, signatures um, for the music wow. to you know, try to try to get them to give out refunds. Shit, the I'm game, put my signature on that. The day. game yeah. is in a weird state, in and by weird state, I mean it's horrible. As of last yes. night, when I was when I was checking all the figures, um, Battlefield Five. I would like a refund. Battlefield One and Battlefield Four had more players than Battlefield 2042. <laughs> 
Wait a minute, Alex. You telling me over the weekend you did not enjoy that epic tactical beanie <laughs> that they were right. giving you? Oh, uh, is that not gonna make a video? That was last, you, that was last week, and you missed it. I missed it. You no don't beanie. want that fucking epic beanie? But that's yeah. just how it works I, out sometimes. For sure. <laughs> don't be sad. I for sure thought that was gonna bring everyone back. No, it didn't. It didn't do anything. Uh, as of right now, there's still less than two thousand people playing. It is the number three <laughs> Battlefield. It's not even number one because Battlefield Five and Battlefield Four. One still have more players. Four is just slipped behind, but you know, oh, as the really? afternoon picks up, oh, come it, on. I mean, look, it, it constantly is shifting around. We also got information from one of the community managers that they're no longer the community manager, and they said, "Hey, talk to this community manager instead." He's like, "Well, I'm a community manager, except for it, Reddit, because fuck those guys." Uh, and they're no longer checking the Reddit community <laughs> because it's apparently not a – it's a silly place. Um, and so An amazing place. They, I love it. They are now ignoring because like, we can go get anything constructed. It's like, well, they demand answers in longer than 140 characters. They would like you to explain yourself and tell us it's what's like, happening. Yeah, this is not what we want. And the, throwing a fucking beanie? Yeah. Like, really? That's what you've been working on? When when Battlefield 4 had released, be between the release and this point in time, there was DLC. There was lots of changes in modes. And, and this is just, we don't even have a scoreboard yet because the scoreboard got delayed. <laughs> and there's also really new fun bugs. Um, it's funny, but it's true. Yeah. I, they delayed something basic as shit. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what the fuck they're doing over there. Well, the sad thing... Uh, and the one thing that uh, that I will constantly remind everybody is EA, internally, money-wise, they're not viewing this as a complete and total failure. And this is something that you people have to remember is because EA already has our money because we are dumb and we gave EA money. And because we are dumb and gave EA money, this is the second biggest launch that they've had. And they, you know, they're not going to make the microtransactions for the live service game that they wanted to for long periods of time, and that probably really hurts them, but... Um, but they got their money already. But, uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to play Battlefield, just play any of the older ones. Skip over 2042. Don't go back. It's still a garbage fire. We'll let you know when it comes back. And if you haven't, signed the petition. I yeah. just did, Joe. Bam. Boom. It's that it is simple. Now he at just did it right now. 192,597 have signed from the moment that I did. And then I went even further and I tweeted it. Good. I want. Good. It's almost. I want a goddamn refund. <laughs> yeah, because it's fucking that bullshit. Shit, I spent a hundred and wanted. something dollars, like ninety hundred dollars, so that broken. I can fucking early play test that shit for you. Yeah. And you're delaying and delaying. You can't even get a fucking scoreboard right. Give me my money back. Yeah. I mean, you can't even play it. There's a lot of people that are trying to play uh, with bots. Uh, because that's the only people that can get into those specific servers. So, so and it says if it hits the next goal is if it hits two hundred thousand uh, uh, si signatures, it will be amongst the top on Change.org. It's getting there. So, yeah. So if you if you paid money, maybe maybe sign it. I don't think anything's gonna happen. But no, maybe it's. I mean. It's, they're they forcing money, pressure on Sony. It's probably not going to happen because it's like Sony specifically, and they've been really, you know, stingy about that. They did it for maybe the small hope is the cyberpunk thing, right? That so was, they're they're, they're yeah. hoping on that small hope that maybe there's that. But at this, I don't give a fuck. I, it's a protest sign. It's like, no, this game Light fucking bullshit. Lights and fire bullshit. in the ass. Like, do fucking something because this is not what we're going to stand for. Next set. Battlefield <laughs> 5. already took our money. Battlefield 5 has more uh, double the players of 2042 right this second. Uh, Battlefield 1 is is higher than Battlefield 2042. Like, what what the hell are they doing over there? And, yeah, Battlefield 4 is catching up as far as player counts from just a little while ago. I it, wow. It is. It, like, wow. this is this Well, is good, because I like Battlefield 4. It was a fucking disaster at release, but it's pretty good now because yeah. it's taken a long time. <laughs> But this is going to take even longer mm. to even get in the right state. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want just. Yeah. I don't want to go back to that right now. Yeah. It was sad because we were all dumb. And like, I, I'm I looking say, forward to Battlefield. It's like, oh, you. Oh, you are young younger, and naive. Yeah. We were young and naive and dumb <laughs> five months ago. So. Monk's top petitions for video games. I had to look it up because I was like, 200,000, that doesn't sound right. I've seen like 10 mil, I've seen like millions of, yeah. of subscribers. But that's for like political issues where our politicians are just completely ignoring. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they do the same. Yeah, he's right. completely ignoring these people too. Yeah. So it's, it's great. Yeah. Uh, maybe just, um, I don't know, tell us which community you want to address because they're, they're like, no, Reddit's too toxic. It's like, you're talking on Twitter right now. That's what mm. the fuck are you talking about? Twitter is toxic. It can. Pick pick a forum and we'll go. 
Twitch and do emote only chat. Just tell us what's going on with the game because I want some value for my money. No, or just tell me no. Gone. I'd it's respect gone. him if like you want your money back. Fuck you. I'd respect that more than the it's you like, know okay. weird word well, silence. All right, that's on me. Yeah. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> That give me false hope. Maybe I might get something later on. Mm. Like you just painting your clown clown makeup on. <laughs> clown <you>. makeup. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be good later on. They told me it's going to be great. Yeah. What are you going to do? Not buy the next one. Don't pre-order. That's D- just all we got to do is done. stop pre-ordering. Done. All right. Anything else you guys wanted to go over? Oh, I was waiting for the mention of Grand Theft Auto V surpassing 160 million units sold. Oh, yeah. Because then I could bring up... That Grand Theft Auto Remastered <laughs> Trilogy, one of the worst <laughs> games on our 2021 list, has significantly exceeded expectations, says the company. Oh, God. <sighs> it's not really news because, look, Grand Theft Auto is a fucking name. You sell copy. It don't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's broken as fuck. You're going to sell it because it's Grand Theft Auto, and it's multiple Grand Theft Autos in one game. Mm-hmm. So they just made a lot of, uh, of unexpected sales on it, probably from people expecting it to be good, and then later on from people knowing it's extremely bad and they want to laugh. Uh, maybe that <laughs> helped it. Joke's on us. The joke's on us, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so they review, uh, they said uh, 1 billion, Grand Theft Auto V reached 1 billion in retail sales faster than any other entertainment release in history. They've sold more than 370 million units as a series as a whole. And, of course, it's the best-selling game of the decade. And then they were significantly exceeded the expectations for that little piece of shit port that came out. So you said 1 billion in in revenue f- lifetime for a GTA? No, no, it's even more than that. This is the f- it it reached 1 billion faster than any other entertainment oh, okay. release in history, but it is more than a billion oh, yeah. at this point. Yeah, it's got to be making a ton of money. But yeah, I'll remind everyone, Call of Duty Mobile makes a billion dollars a year. So thank you for that sad yeah, news. So all you people who are watching us while shitting and not playing video games I appreciate you. <coughs> um yeah, I don't know. It's stop <laughs> stop pointing out that that huge elephant in the room. I just there's nothing well, you we can't can do ignore about it. that. It's just getting bigger. You're, and bigger. You're, you're right. You can, we can't ignore it, and we need to continue to uh, fight for good gaming and make sure that those mobile tactics do not pour on over into our. Uh, video games, which leads into my last one. Disney Speedstorm is a new free-to-play car, <laughs> kart-style racing oh, game phone. releasing by uh, by GameLoft, uh, which will be on Switch and PC. Not on your phone, oh, but okay. sure to include <laughs> the microtransaction bullshit that we are just now talking about. Do you want to go faster? With mobile. <laughs> dollar per nods. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they go that fast, or that? Do you think yes. they go that far? Yes. To go that fast? Yes, it's a free to play. The the lineup includes <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow, Mulan, <gasps> Mickey Mouse, Monster Incorporator, Sully, and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, and more. Fingers crossed for Wreck It Ralph. Says Game Informer, you motherfuckers, <laughs> you are you gonna give them money? You gonna give them fifteen dollars for Wreck It Ralph? As you play, you can upgrade each character's stats and utilize their unique skills. Hopefully, with money. Hopefully not with money. <laughs> uh, to work on a dream project like Disney Speedstorm, we are driven to create a game that feels uh, like home for Disney and Pixar fans, but is also unique to the arcade racing genre. The gameplay mechanics, the racer abilities, and the locations are tailored to serve our vision of a fast and gripping competitive experience. We can't wait to share this vision with players around the globe. Publisher GameLaw promises that the Disney Speedstorm will get updated with new racers and courses regularly and and support cross-platform when it launches on PC and consoles sometime this year, so as long as it continues to make money. And in that case, if it doesn't make money, they promise not to update the game anymore and immediately cancel it. Yeah, I just can't, whenever I hear that, I just can't help but be cynical. There's a video here, though, so put that up there. It doesn't show jack shit, though. Anyways, there you go. Um, that's it for me. Amazing. Guys. That sounds like an expensive vision. <laughs> Instead, put your support out. Instead of this free-to-play garbage is going to suck your money, put put your money where, where it matters. Some of these upcoming releases and stuff that's good now and products that are good now, like 
the Lawnmower 4.0 in Manscaped. Or a fellow supported channel, Control Alt Delrith, a fellow content creator, go support his channel with a subscription over there. He is releasing reviews and videos, including Warhammer Total War 3 review right now and uh, Horizon review right now. And then stay tuned to our reviews later mm -hmm. on this week of Sifu, of Dying, uh, Light, 2. Dying Light 2, and then we're working on much more. Hopefully we'll have we're Total War. Pass. Crossfire. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. He We're said it. Crossfire. He said it. Maybe a sit down discussion <laughs> for Crossfire. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.